After making a brief stop in Israel, Governor Newsom will try to bolster the state's role as a global leader on climate change when he begins a week-long visit to China tomorrow. The trip presents both political risk and opportunity for crucial international collaboration. Governor Newsom is heading overseas to talk climate change. So the governor is going to China. Speaking with ABC 10 anchor Walt Gray, here's political columnist Emily Hoven with the San Francisco Chronicle. So he's insisted that he's really going to go there just to talk about climate. You know, California is one of the biggest economies in the world. China, obviously, decisions that it makes on climate would also have massive ripple effects. And so I think he's going to try to sort of strike this, this positive balance. Newsom's tour begins with a discussion in Hong Kong before it continues to Beijing, Shanghai and Guangdong and Jiangsu provinces. He's expected to sign agreements with leaders of the Chinese provinces to set mutual commitments on several climate goals. How it will be received, I think, will be interesting because obviously mm -hmm. California is, is not a nation. Uh, but I think Newsom is obviously positioning himself on the global stage to kind of be a leader on these issues and, you know, maybe even sort of make diplomatic ties that, that could be useful in the future if he does decide to make a presidential run. In a statement announcing his visit, Newsom said, California and China hold the keys to solving the climate crisis. As two of the world's largest economies, our partnership is essential to delivering climate action for our communities and beyond. Newsom will also tour Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory, which in September announced it produced two million electric vehicles, making it the most productive EV factory in the world.